Hey guys, uh, welcome to your next Blender tutorial. I'm Stefan, and we're going to be teaching you how to make this simple bathroom scene. This will be a helpful uh, tutorial for people who, you know, want, want to start off their art career in Blender and uh, want to do so and want to learn about all the struggles that I had to without any tutorials on when I started blending about a year and a half ago. Okay, um, so this will be for people who want to learn, who want to apply basic textures, use simple methods in the compositor, which I have set up here. Uh, yep, simple little uh, strings that will help you, that will help you make your image look better. Um, simple modeling, and I won't be able to do everything in the scene, I'll be basically involved for uh, the sink with faucets, or, yeah, faucets and um, bathtub and a few pictures and mirrors and then you can go in and add a few details with the knowledge that you learned from this tutorial so why don't we just uh, get started and hit a new scene and hit T to get rid of the object toolbar I don't find it very helpful but whatever go ahead, just drag open a new window and you're going to want to go to the UV image editor um, I, I've got a reference image for what I'm going to do, so I don't have to jump back and forth between uh, windows when I'm working. So we just go ahead and find that, open it up. There it is. Wonderful. There it is. That's the one that we're going to be try to be replicating, I guess. So let's start out with the floor, walls, and we'll do some of the molding, and we will go from there. See how long that takes us. So. Get rid of your cube, I think, X, and hit Shift A to add a plane. And you're going to want to, we're going to just use this plane to make the floors and walls right now. So just hit Shift B to duplicate the object. And holding Control, grab along the axis and just drag it. And by holding Control, it snaps it to the grid location so you don't get any beams when you render. There's little cuts in, in, uh, in between these objects because we don't know what beams are. Just do that again and hit R, Y, and then put, type in 90 on your number pad, and that'll direct it to the 90. It'll put it 90 degrees perfectly, not a bit off. And then hit R, and then Z for this one. Okay, 90. Should be first. Then hit R90 once again. And that's the basic, that's your floor and walls right there. Done. Let's go and do the molding right now. I know you can barely see it in this image, but in mine, I made it a little more uh, visible. So with Shift A and go and add a plane. And rotate that so it's straight up. So 90. And size this down along the Z by hitting F and Z. Yes, okay. Now, uh, that would be a pretty plain molding, so let's add a few details to it. Hit, uh, or hit tab, go into edit mode, and this allows you to uh, manipulate vertices and make your object look like this. That's what it would now look like. You obviously don't want that. So you control Z, you can go back and erase what you've done. Hit control R, and add a few loop cuts, like so. Just put them basically the way that you want yours to look. I pretty much use the same method for every time I make molding. Then hit sh hold shift and alt and right click along the line and that just selects the whole line. Very helpful. Very helpful. Be sure to memorize that. And then shift alt along those lines. And that's it. Okay. This wasn't good enough. You want to bring that back down and place it up against the wall. Sorry, it's a little hard on your windows. Whatever that will do. I'm going to shift you that and just place along the wall like you did before with the actual wall. And 
Okay, the ceiling also has some too. So we're going to shift you that up, but we wouldn't want to put the exact same one up top, so size it up a little bit. And then in your modifiers, uh, just solidify it. Put the thickness a little bit more. There we go. Okay, and shift you once again along the wall. And once again, forget to do it. There we go. Cool. Now we are done that for now. Let's go on to making the sink. Let's do the sink. So shift A, add a feed, and let's make the top part first. Just basic sizing, making sure that it fits properly. Place it up against the wall. Okay, so there you go. And now we want to hit tab and we're going to make the sink part actually first. By hitting tab and then control R, you can add your loop cuts. Place them like so. Loop cuts can take a while to get used to, so I'll get frustrated if they don't pop up properly the first time. Hit H3. Or the E button, find your number pad, or your keyboard, sorry, and slide that down, and bring that down. And you select all these vertices on the top, and hit P to make everything that's selected its own object. So now, only this part will come off, and not the rest of it. Uh, this thing looks very, very sharp, so just to fix that, you can add a subdivision surface. And then hitting Control R, add extra loop cuts to make sure that it doesn't look too rounded. And that's your sink right there. Now we're going to do the under part. So Shift A, add a cube. You can go into top mode if you want to. Not really long. Make sure it fits properly. There we are then. Okay, now we need to size this. Alright, um, we don't want to put it, I know you're like, why is it floating, but you don't want it to be totally against the floor, because most bathroom sinks are actually have legs, but we don't need to model that, because that saves time, and our camera will be here, so we won't even be able to see it. Okay, uh, how much time? Nine minutes. Okay. Wrap this up, this part up soon. Um... Now we're going to be adding the, the cabinet on the bottom. Sorry, my little size box will be here. Whatever that will be. Okay. Tab. And if you hit A, it selects everything that's in edit mode. Just like that. So hit Control R. Control R again. And we're basically making where you want your cabinets to be. So decide on the size that you want them. The layout, thickness, your choice. Okay, and then hit Control R again if you don't want them to just completely hit the floor. So this one, and just screw that in one, one little bit. 
and let's drink this one in a little bit as well. So I don't know if you can see it on my screen, but on yours you should have little divots where the where it'll be. Um, now we can add a we can add a modifier to this one because this is a great trick that I learned from uh, Blender Guru. If you have sharp corners, just add a bevel modifier to them, and it'll make your hands look so much more realistic because normal corners, if you were to walk by it, wouldn't cut your hand in half, you know, it would it wouldn't do that. So by adding bevel modifiers, it may, makes it actually look like it's not like as sharp as a razor blade on every corner and edge that you have, so it's a very helpful trick. Um, so we're coming up on 11 minutes now. Uh, we're going to continue the tutorial in the next part. Uh, we're going to be learning how to do the handle, bathtub, some extra molding, mirror, and pictures. And then we'll go on to the texturing side. So thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to watch part two. Thanks.